Okay, here we go, folks. And basically, our object between our magneticals, and like I say, this should be, and we'll go down in the map, this should be Venus no matter what. Now, I think we've got Venus uh, and or no matter what, when we go to B, too, that we get a different angle farther away. Uh, we either found another planet, and with all the magneticals that they showed in the gray compression shows you that, and the count of being eight magnetical lines that we ended up with, uh, no matter where they are throughout the map and everything like that. Now, when we're looking at the eight ahead stuff that I show you, it'll be the idea that it'll be coming. But remember, the, these satellites can turn 360 degrees. Now, we do know that this, when I go to Sechi footage, that it's coming from, basically what I'm going to be showing you is, uh, I'll plop into it real fast. I should be able to just pop, go right to it. And see, we're seeing a, another planet doing a CME reactive flare. Now, that should be Venus. As you see when I go back uh, here, that basically your map right there shows you the Venus is like that with. Now, what's interesting, when we're looking at this footage, okay, it's coming from A, and they didn't have to zoom in that much, either that or... We did have Venus before, and I'm wrong on thinking it possibly was Saturn. But the absolute positive is all the magneticals that we found, the objects that are out there are more, and basically when you count from and then you get Earth, and also when you go watch my videos, uh, basically I have a lot of titles, but when we show, you see the ones that have had the gray compression and they have the magneticals, and we'll come back and uh, and you'll be able to see that there's way more out there and, and that NASA and them are going to have to start explaining that to us. Now, as you see that atmosphere blow up from the CME reactive flare of this, but then also since we have this object that we have found that is between Venus and Mercury, as you can clearly see right here, and they've been blocking this shot, they've been trying to block it, and I don't know if someone's finally given the orders to get off of it, but as you see, we have this here, and we also have that there, and no matter what, we've got that. That's between, no matter what we know, Mercury is on this line, okay? And Mercury's just a moon. It's exactly, it's pretty much, not to the Nats point oh oh whatever, but it's pretty much exactly the same size as our moon, Mercury is. It really shouldn't even be considered a planet. Okay, so we've got Venus that's doing that CME reactive flare there. Now when I go to this, this footage from behind H1B, the other satellite, remember it can go 360 degrees. It's different, right? That's correct. That's the sun doing the CME right there. Okay, don't get it mixed up. That is the sun doing a CME, okay? And then over here to the right, lower, because I'm going to take you up high, which should be Venus, okay? So it's not, there is electrical static coming off the sun like crazy. And also, if we go, when we go back to A, because you're going to notice that basically that's Venus up there, okay? Let me blow up in on this so you can see that. We're seeing a CME reactive flare to a CME reactive flare. And what I call is an atmospherical CME reactive flare, an atmosphere of a planet, okay? That's the sun to the left. Now as we go up here, and I think we can keep it in, you see that happening, and Venus is up there and it's not doing nothing because that damn well should be Venus up high, okay? Closer, because we're on B, okay? This is B, take it down, this is B, and basically the other side of space, millions of miles. Okay? So, and I can blow it up a little bit more so you can actual factual know and realize that Venus is up there. That's the magnetical line there to the right. And either that or we found a planet. Okay? Because that's Venus up there. Okay? And you can see it's reacting a little bit to it. Now, Mercury doesn't have much of an atmosphere, so it doesn't do it much anymore. Okay? But it, whatever it does have for anything that it puts off that could become an atmosphere someday or that could be turned into an atmosphere by man we, we got the abilities to do it okay and then I come down and I should be able to there's that CME reactive flare on the right hand side from a planet down there 
So down lower, and we know it's not Earth. Okay, now this is from B. Just uh, hurry up and get... Uh, we're floating around here a little bit. I don't understand why the speed, but anyway. So now I'll pop back to the other side, the other satellite, which can go 360. And like I've already proved to you that basically they have moved it around the one that we were just at, the B. They've turned that around 360 to get a look at this stuff because what's going on is like wild. Okay. That's not the sun to the left. The sun's to the right over here, putting off the CME action. So... And then I've got some other stuff in some videos today I'm putting up, so watch. There's you get two or three. And what we have to watch for here is we are getting, as you see, we're getting gamma rays from outer space, not from the sun and not from over here from this planet, which is, should be Venus, doing that one. And then see this planet here that you can see clearly is the one that basically when you go to uh, the footage that's the one that's doing this reactive flare here, that, that there planet there, whatever one that is, and we can probably end up finding, figuring it out in the next couple videos or so, we'll end up figuring out what planet this is that's doing that, and that's that planet right there, the lower planet. You see what I'm saying? Or it doesn't, and it doesn't really matter if it's not exactly that one, and as you can see there, I'm gonna zoom in on that, that's basically putting off what we've been seeing for it kind of seems to be the what's putting the gamma rays off or whatever. See, it's coming off of that. Whatever planet that is. So now we got an interesting object. Now, is that our object that, that's between that we're seeing? We might be getting looks at whatever the hell is. That's what's between when we keep on getting these shots of between Mercury and Venus because this is Venus to the left. Okay? That's Venus. And is that up there what we keep on seeing in these shots and what I'm showing you on, because that's Mercury. So is this what we're seeing when I go to this and was showing you in the before that there's an object between Venus and Mercury? Is that it? It's very unusual though to watch that above. You know, that's what's weird. You can clearly see it above first. So it's very interesting what we got going on out in space. It's not just the CME off the sun that doesn't look like there. It looks very guilty to be something else from behind also. As you see it come over top. You did that or the CME wrapped totally around Venus from behind first and then made it CME do that. figure out what planet that is. See what else we got for footage. Okay, not to get you confused, there was something I found on uh, basically looking at, we'll blow this up and look to the left hand side because since they were blocking out on the Lasco on the three, well they're not zoomed out in that much here to miss what they were blocking on the other shot. So what I did is I went over and I'm gonna have to get rid of the magnifier. I think it's what something's slowing me down here. I'm uploading, I'm doing a bunch of stuff right now, but anyway, that that something, a little staticky on something like that. And what I ended up seeing was this here little black blotch, okay? No matter what, I'm going to end up zooming on that, and then there was something else, and I'm going to be able, I got a picture already of that that I zoomed in on here. So I'm going to pump this all the way up to 999. I'm going to hurry up for video time here. I might start taking it out too of, of showing you that I'm going 99 sometimes on these videos. So anyway, there's a star there or something way off. That's nothing unusual, right? But I ended up seeing, and there it is right there. I saw that right there. So what I did, and then I'll pull up the magnifier right now, and we'll see what it looks like when we go on here. But I've got a picture. Let me save some time for it to load. So anyway, I just figured that, okay, seeing that, pointing to it. Now I'm going to magnify into it because we're at 9.99. And as you can see, and 
and we'll see when I get to it if I can get to it by looking out here let me just take you to the picture real fast hang on get rid of the magnifier boom picture and I ended up getting in on this right there now check this out we're gonna just zoom in with this there's a star but before you get there there seems like enough light from the sun in that star that there sure seems to be and no matter what there's dark spots around it too and there is a star there or is it just getting light from the sun electrical energy from the sun like we do but no matter what there's stuff there can't miss it and that's what I zoomed in on what we and the only thing I'm starting to wonder since this is towards the earth side okay earth's over this way is the actual factual because this is from ahead no matter what that's a star or something back there too okay so but we're gonna keep an eye on this if I can keep seeing it from Lasco 3 unedited out like they did edit out because the idea that we have whatever we have that's basically in between Venus and Mercury you're seeing right there that there's something down there between Venus and Mercury because Venus is up here and we've already seen from this footage over on and let me show you that this footage is from B behind and then basically I'll go over and go to right here and then that's Venus doing that and that's whatever the hell that is and we've seen when I was zoomed in on that 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 there object and let me get that to 999 let me get this magnifier gone boom because this sure seems to be some object so we'll pump it up 999 and the crazy st stuff that we see because basically that CME action if it's just the Sun that's doing it too and that's whatever the heck that is up there it doesn't have a magnetical on it you see it's huge and it's close and it doesn't have a magnetical okay and the Sun doesn't like it being around and it's been getting larger so we're gonna be keeping an eye on this and I really think that that could possibly well it doesn't matter don't worry about it being the same object we're not worried on that but the idea that no matter what we see that do what we've seen earlier that flash that it puts off from see from a react it does a CME reactive flare to the, the Venus doing that and something that seems to be up behind Venus because you see that there right there that lightning or whatever come in and that's what we know we know the Sun's all electrical so there's a lot of electrical action atomic action going on in space okay there's an atomic reactions going on in space like crazy okay because the Sun is what we know to be a hydrogen star from what I understood and then I got a disinfo commercial that I'm gonna end up or not a commercial video from NASA they're trying to say is that it's a helium star and I don't care whether it is what is it a helium star or a hydrogen star because the other stars that they're supposed to be watching out there which might be that star up there and maybe that's what they're op watching this thing so much is all those observations that I'm getting from Delaware and if this is a water precipitation but check out the action that's basically getting harped or something like that from this there's too much of this going on to be falsehood of not being something from either and basically I'm going to show you a map real fast of heat index today and what I'm wondering about is this triangulation of heat that we're getting as you notice this is 4 a.m. Eastern time this morning check out the 20 degree temperature just bang in where it's at up in Canada okay behind the Detroit lakes ladies and gentlemen 20 degrees bang like that in the morning very unusual now I went into you know a suspicious observers two-minute news in the morning to get the he and I had took a picture from it earlier it, but it's a triangulation also over here in Colorado in the Rockies okay so from starlight out in space ladies and gentlemen and then atomic energy everything in space is basically the every time anybody's this astronaut up in space in the orbit the radiation is very high up there there is tons of radiation in space already I've showed you the radiation from Mars from Curiosity okay and then we have radiation down here on Earth nuclear energy is